Okay, so let's go ahead and check what we have. We have our terrain, which is 35 meters tall. Now I want to add some more atmospheric effect to this. And we'll go to Atmosphere, Atmosphere Editor. Let's check what we have here. And we have our um, settings. We can increase brightness, leave it up. Uh, let's go to Sky and Fog. Let's increase also our global aerial perspectives, which is add haze to our scenery. Um, we'll play a little bit more with the haze after. We'll see how much it will work. But I think it's okay, and we'll need add clouds. So let's go ahead, preload our clouds, and we'll go with a spectral. Just let's select flat cameras right now. Altitude one kilometer. We don't see them, but they are will cast reflection and they will cast shadows. It's what we wanted. So we want to increase opacity and density on them. It will provide a little bit heavier look. Okay, we'll increase this one. And let's alter the variations. I mean lights, and we'll increase shadow density because we want them actually cast a little bit more on our water, on the reflection. And let's also take cover and reduce slightly and we'll increase details. So we want bigger chunk to reflect in our water of the clouds. Let's add those elements. Okay. Um, next, let's go ahead and add a new layer and we'll just select thick camo. But here's a tricky what are we going to do? We'll go to take this actual layer. Okay, let's go zoom out. Our thick cloud right there. And we'll actually take and bring them down. Okay, as well, we can shrink them and bring them more down. So they will be almost over our island. And you can see we already can kind of view them right there. So let's go ahead, make even down more. Okay, uh, next option I want to do, it is right here, enable limited cloud to zone. By doing this, we actually take this cloud and we set to specific zone. So we don't need to worry about spreading too much and we can control that little bit easier positioning. As it's low, we can increase details, altitude variation, so we'll make a little bit more. Let's increase opacity, feathering, shadow density. Okay, let's go ahead, preview. It take a little bit time to catch up. So this is one way we can do it. Um, Problem with this, it's nice, uh, but I want to create very light with this. So for this one, we'll take our density and we'll take density all the way down to about maybe two and we'll pop up a pass to 100%. So I want to just create almost like a little bit over, kind of slightly right there. You can see small effects will going. Okay, well, let's go click OK on this. Next, I want to add cloud itself, and we'll just click and say um, add meta cloud. So we'll just take this meta cloud, shrinking and putting right here, just above our island. So you can see almost like it's touching. Okay, let's go a little bit even lower. Maybe increase in size. Okay, let's rotate and bring on a back. So almost, I want preview, but I want some of those right there. Okay. Let's increase them here. And also we can copy or 
click and create um, another meta clouds. We can bring this meta clouds a little bit on the side. So we'll have it up front actually a little bit. Let's rotate and bring it closer to the camera. So I want to add them up around here. Again, we'll just work a little bit more on the density of these clouds. We'll reduce them. Make them smaller. Bring them right here and drop them down. So just give this perspective like we look slightly above. Okay, as we work with the material, we go in material editor. And in this point, we can actually modify some of those properties. So let's go in lighting effect. So we'll go good right here. Cloud settings. Okay, it's about right. We could reduce a little bit on a density opacity and then reduce on the cover. Just make them a little bit lighter looking. Okay, now maybe even more on the density down slightly. So we we'll should have it even less. Yep, right here. Let's go click OK. And the same with these clouds because the chunks looking too rough. We'll just take density, take it down as well. It should lighting them up. Let's go click OK and let's this render see how so far what we have. Okay, um, it's look kind of OK, but again, we have a grain. We need to rework on the quality and position on the main camera. So I'm going to take my camera, move a little bit up more, look down, almost like we look on our island. Let's take our sunlight. And on our sunlight, we're going to bring create effect, leave it on the back. So the sunset kind of golden hour almost. Okay, we'll take this rock cloud because we move a little bit. I want to move this to the corner so it's kind of cover. There you go, leave it. So this way, let's go look on the atmosphere editor again. And just to the test, we can go, you can switch to the standard if you need it. That will provide slightly different look for us with the standard terrain. We have a little bit more haziness and other stuff. Again, it depends which one you like it. Um, but if we switch here, remember we have it, our lights adjustment, so we can modify. bit settings as well we have a too much haze I think at this point on a standard but standard will give it us more illustrated effect and it's, again it's depend what you want it so be sure we pop up quality boost okay, I think this is about right we can increase a little bit now glowing because we change a few few elements okay let's go back in the light about brightness because we switch from there standard right now we know standard not photometrical and right here we have a little bit too hazy so let's go to um take this one down right now and haziness down so we should have it a little bit clear up preview Okay, you know what, I'm, I think I maybe like standard a little bit better. Okay, let's now slightly increase aerial perspective, so we'll a little bit, I think that is better. And just a little bit increase ground fog. Okay, so we we'll should add a little bit too much maybe of ground fog, so we'll go Maybe about seven and here increase. 
OK, we'll go ahead. Let's click OK. Take main camera. Let's zoom closer. Maybe around there. OK. Take our cloud again. Reposition slightly. So we'll have it covered a little bit right here. Clouds are going. And because we are closer to this cloud, we can take reduce density even more. And you know what? Um, let's go increase quality. I know this is will increase our render time, but we'll reduce some of those grainies because we're coming very close to them. Okay, so this is one position and I'll just duplicate camera and we can also have it another camera if you want it and we can render more with the sky. We can go like this, right here. So this is inside the cloud. We should, we could need to remove. But here is just different look on this island as well. Okay, but overall this position was kind of I was thinking to create from top down look. Okay, I think we're good at this point, so let's go ahead, preset our render, and we'll go render at least final. I'll go to HD resolution. So it will take with the clouds and everything. It's probably will take about an hour to render. So I'm going to pause this tutorial and come back when render is completed. So I want to just be sure everything selected. Uh, let's enable Z depth. Okay, we'll go click OK and start rendering. Okay, so right here we have it, our render completed. You can see it's take 37 minutes. So a little bit less than an hour, and we have it our island with the uh, clouds display. We could work a little bit more on these mountains right here. I'm not a big fan of how they come up, but overall they are um, coming out. And overall, here's our image of the island that we created. Thank you for watching this tutorial.